In this video, I'm going to share with you the six reasons why you're losing patients, current and new patients during COVID-19 and how to quickly turn it around. Now, before I get into this, I want to make it clear. There's going to be three types of doctors who are going to come out of this COVID pandemic. So the most important decision you have to make is deciding which one you are. The first type will be the one who's going to do the same things or do nothing differently. And you're going to feel the pain in your pocketbooks, in your production, if you haven't already felt it, whether that's now, in three months, six months, 12 months. There's gonna be the second type of doctor who's actually going to thrive because of it. So you'll take a chance and do things differently. You'll take a look at your operations, your hiring, your marketing, and actually improve upon it and come out on top. And there's the third type of doctor who's going to use the pandemic as a chance to retire early. There is nothing wrong with any of these options. You just want to be clear at the very outset of which one you want to be and what your decision is. My name is Kayvon Ma. I'm a co-founder of DocSites. For over 12 years, I've been helping dentists with two things. One, improve their online presence, and two, get more new patients. Everything I'm going to share with you in this video is based on my 12 years of hands-on experience working with different dental practices throughout America. So let's get into it. Number one reason why you're losing patients during COVID right now is because of staffing issues. This is a rampant problem all over America and something that you have to address head on. The only way address, to address it is head on. Look, different people are resolving it in different ways. I've talked to dentists who said, I'm taking on less patients and I'm actually doing you know, everything A to Z. I've talked to other doctors who are doing virtual consults and booking them online. These are all ways where you can turn it around. There is no one, two, three step to this problem. You've just got to be committed and keep positive and going through it. Reason number two, you have a set it and forget it mentality. This is very costly. Look, your marketing, the marketing of your practice is not like insurance. You can't afford to just pay it once a year or once a month and never look at it. The problems that causes is you might be overspending on something that is not even working. So right now, determine for yourself that it's important and use that time to assess, what am I getting? What am I paying for? What are the results? Are these actually turning into new patients, new appointments, or am I just spending money and crossing my fingers and hoping that it works? Don't let this set it and forget it mentality bring you down and cost you more money than it is now. Number three reason, you have no COVID-19 messaging or protocols on your website or you're not even communicating that clearly to your current patients or new patients. A lot of dentists are tripping up on this reason right here. Look, COVID is on everyone's minds. And even though the states are allowing people to come back into dental offices, it's still on people's minds. So are you putting a COVID-19 message on your website? Are you putting it on your social media? If not, those are quick ways that you can communicate to patients about what you're doing to keep them safe in the waiting room, just how you operate. Because again, if you're not doing it, the competitor down the street is, and people are going to flock online to the place that seems most professional, you know, uh, most safe during these times. Reason number four, your Google Maps profile says that you are closed. When was the last time you actually Googled yourself? I hope you've done so during the pandemic. If not, take a second to do that because Google's algorithm is changing. So what that means is your Google Maps profile, where people you know, see your profile when they Google your name, is changing business hours. It's saying that you might be temporarily closed when you're not. It might say that you're closed on a Tuesday when you've been open on a Tuesday. So take a second to look at your Google Maps profile because again, if patients, current or new, are getting referred to you, the first thing they're gonna do is Google you. If they go on your profile and they see that you're closed or you're temporarily closed, they're not gonna ask twice. They're just gonna go to the competitor down the street. So check out your Google Maps profile. Reason number five, you are doing a poor job of differentiating yourself from the competition down the street. 
Look, nowadays more than ever, everyone is going online. Everyone is going to their website, to your website to see how you stack up against others. So take a look. Are you happy and proud of the photos? Are they personalized? Is it just stock photography? Are you showcasing your before and afters? What about the amazing reviews that you've earned on Google and Yelp? Are they just sitting there? Or do you have a company that you work with where they actually embed those reviews on your website to make someone say, wow, this doctor has great reviews. There's so many ways that you can personalize your website to make sure you stand out. And if you're not doing it right now, again, you're losing out on a big opportunity. And reason number six, you're losing patients during COVID-19 is because you're not doing any SEO, search engine optimization, or your SEO sucks. And what to do about it? First, you've got to realize that it might not be working well for you. So this goes back to my other point of getting off the set it and forget it mentality. You know, have the courage and confidence to take a look and see what you're getting in terms of your SEO and if it's actually bringing you traffic. I'll give you one key factor that that's very important. A lot of companies who are doing SEO for dentists are doing it wrong. And what they're doing is they're focusing on blogs and keywords that patients are not searching for. The only thing you care about is what patients are searching for. That's what you want to bring into your practice. So, you know, if you see that your website is blogging about how swimming affects your oral health, that is bad SEO. If your SEO company like Docsites does something like how to find the best cosmetic dentist near me, 91356, that is a great SEO post. Why? That's what patients are searching for. So these are the six reasons that uh, doctors are losing patients online because of COVID and how you can quickly turn them around. Again, my name is Kayvon Mott with Docsites. What I'm offering is a free strategy session to help things get turned around for you. What this is is a 10, 15 minute phone call and a screen share we set up at the convenience of your office or your home. And what we do is take a look at your website and your web presence. We essentially go through these six reasons and show you two things. One, what's working well, what's effective so you can keep doing more of it. And two, where you have some opportunities for improvement. So as things start to pick back up, you're ahead of your competition because you've seen those opportunities. Take a second to book your appointment with me. This is a free 15 minute strategy session. It's personalized with myself for you and your practice.